Oh, that was shit. It's gone down the top. <laughs> <laughs> Did you bring the speedos? No, Clear off. No, no, no. no. Just a little bit. Oh. We are now at the desk about to start work. A meeting with 35 year olds is a challenge. <laughs> So I'm gonna do a upper body workout. Oh, oh. It looks beautiful outside. Absolutely gorgeous weather. Time for a coffee. Right, we don't use teaspoons. Oh yeah, you don't use a teaspoon, do you? You just measure. You just know, you've got a six cents yeah, for coffee. Yeah, I have coffee. actually, I've done this so many times. Though. Really? That's how you make perfect coffee. Fab's turn to... Make his coffee, and this takes about four to five working days. <laughs> Usually, I just have ground coffee and put it in my Aeropress, but today we've got coffee beans, which actually does taste nicer. And this makes it an awful noise. Put the lid on. Oh. It won't go without the lid. No, you were actually about to press it play without. You can't press play without the lid. The lid is play. When I've made my coffee, come and I sit right here in this chair and I drink my coffee oh, excuse the paint here's my coffee and if you're wondering how it's so frothy well that's the sweetener right are you ready for the first try of coffee in the morning this is the best thing ever could do with a little bit more sweetener. Oh, so you didn't have the perfect ratio? Not today. Have <laughs> you made a makeshift tripod? Yeah, out of Allen keys and car keys. Oh my god, she actually has. She's got a paint pot, Allen keys and car keys. You know we've got a tripod upstairs. Oh! Oh god, how short is your dressing gown? You look like a stripper. That's the look I was going for when I bought it. I bought it from Ann Summers. Good morning, good evening, wherever you are watching this. It's good morning for us. And today we are going to film a day in the life during the week. Because why the hell not? We're both working from home, really? aren't we? Elle's this home with me this week. It's my last week at home this week. Yeah, and then she's back in school. She's a primary school teacher, if you didn't know. By that dance, it pretty much gave it away. <laughs> but <laughs> So it's just going to be a day of what we get up to in the week. And we're also going to film what we eat in a day. Yeah, and it's going to be very honest. None of this, like, oh, I put this here nicely. Oh, yeah, because and we don't. I cut don't. this like this. I think this is going to be an interesting video, you know, because we've never, like, well, I've worked from home for almost a year and I've never. Oh my goodness, shown yeah, anything. it's actually coming up a year. You should actually document that, of like when you. Mm, I've got you some told clips. before. The day always starts with coffee. Coffee and watch YouTube, mm. don't we? When Ellen is at work, um, we get up earlier because Elle's got to get up at five to get ready, go to work. So I get up with her, usually edit any videos that we filmed. We used to do yoga in the morning until Ellen hurt her back. Oh god, yeah, I she really hurt, hurt my back. I know yoga, people say yoga's good for you, but that was not good for me. I was in agony for weeks. Yoga is good for you. I think it was just the point of we, we were doing it at five in the morning, yeah. pretty much. First thing as soon as we got up. We were stretching. Probably, yeah. I mean, I didn't get injured. It's maybe you just overstretch something. But I, I did enjoy doing that. We need to get back into that when you've overcome the fear of the downward dog again. <laughs> Yes, the bin men are here. You know that you're growing up when you get excited for your bins to be taken. That's one annoying slash exciting thing that happens when you move into your own house is you've got to remember to put your bins out on a Wednesday. And I always forget which one was last week. So I'm lucky that I've got Ellen to remind me, otherwise our bins would never get taken. But yeah, I always look forward to that. Now, First things first, after the coffee, we've got to make the bed. Should we do some sort of cool transition? Oh, done. Hopefully that worked. Bed is nicely made now, and I better get changed because this dressing gown is, is dangerously short. My first meeting is at 9.15. Right, hello everyone. Okay, anyway, right, makeup. So, I use this to start with which is the Glow Tonic by Pixie. I use this morning and night. <gasps> I forgot to put my hair serum on last night. Uh oh. Do you know what's good for spot removal? Sill it bang. Then what I do is I spray my face with this Elemis Superfood 
and this stuff just wakes up your skin. Now, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This stuff is actually magic. She hydrated all day. I actually plucked my eyebrows for the first time in about six months yesterday. Proud of me? I wish I was good at makeup. You know? For any other teachers watching this, I hope I'm not the only one. But no, do you we actually get lots of. Ah! We actually get lots of messages and comments from teachers. Okay, well, hello teachers. I don't know if you feel the same at the moment, and I feel a bit bad saying this, but does anybody else just not look forward to half terms or time off school because you literally cannot do anything? There we go. And that's me done for the day. I just think this looks so painful, but it's not. I have now done my makeup. Time for my hair, and then it's the sun is coming out, it looks awfully moody there, but then the sun is peeking out somewhere. <laughs> and look at all these houses that are being made. The double yoker of peace. Let's see if we can do this one handed. I've never actually done this. Oh, we broke the yoke, but I'll take that. Can we break both? Oh my God. Luckily, my bagel management skills are much better than Ellen's. I'm just gonna put that on to sizzle for a minute. The bagels. Oh, can I have a bit of bagel? No. no Clear off. No, 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 no. Just a little bit. Oh, I forgot. Does anyone else's girlfriend do this? You actually steal them. That'll serve you, right? <laughs> She's stealing my f***ing bacon. Ah! But yeah, that's it. Get out of the way. You're not having it. Let it cool down first. Oh, for God's sake. Have you actually got mitten hands? <laughs> Right, mm. clear out the way. I broke my yolks. What a surprise. This is the breakfast of choice today. I will usually have bagels and eggs. Not usually bacon, I just, I'm feeling a bit bougie today. <laughs> so I've gone with some bacon. If I'm not hungry, sometimes I wake up and I'm just not that hungry, I will have some of these because I'm absolutely loving these at the moment. Not that healthy, but they taste damn They're good. They're so good, aren't they? They taste really good. I have porridge oats with protein powder, frozen cherries, and honey. I don't put much in, about 30 grams of oats. I just have mine with water, but I know Fab has his with milk, but I can't really taste the difference, so. And then I put it on for two minutes. And then we wait. I have this in the oats, which is the bulk powders, salted caramel protein. And then I put these on top, which are the little cherries, <laughs> little cherries. And then I put these, this on the top, which is just the honey. This is actually a really good breakfast as well for getting in your protein because I really struggle to get in my protein in the day. Oh, look at that. It's worth saying, right? She has this breakfast every single day, even on weekends when she can eat whatever she wants. I have it every day. Do you not Apart get bored of it? The only, do you know what? When I had the avocados and bacon, mm. that was the only time in about a year Literally. I am gonna do this washing up that I left last night. I feel like I have to redeem myself after the terrible washing up that I showed in the last video. That was a one-off, okay? It's never usually that bad, but I'm gonna make sure I do a good job of this before we start work, get this done. Then I usually fill up my water bottle because I'm terrible. I've recently got this, and if I don't have one of these big bottles, I don't come and drink water. So this is a two liter bottle. Try and do about one and a half, two of these a day. We are now at the desk, about to start work. This is my setup. I've got my MacBook Pro, which is connected up to my monitor. We've got my stand with my hard drives and all my camera stuff on. We've got my notepad with my to-do list on, which I'll show you in a sec. This desk is a godsend because it's a height adjustable desk, meaning that if I want to stand up, <laughs> then I can stand up just like this. How sick is that? Excuse the dressing gowns on the back of the door. I was gonna remove them, but I told you it was gonna be an honest day in the life, so they're staying there. So I am about to start work now, and I thought I'd quickly just explain what we both do for our day jobs. I work for an activewear brand called Gymshark who are based in Solihull. If you're into fitness of any kind, or maybe not, I'm sure you know who Gymshark are, but in case you don't, well, just go and have a look because they're an incredible brand. 
I've been working for them now for almost three years. I'm extremely proud to work there and I absolutely love my job. I work in the brand team and my job is a YouTube specialized videographer. So I look after the YouTube content um, from like a filming, editing, concept perspective. I get to do a really wide variety of stuff, which is why I absolutely love working there. Ellen is a primary school teacher. She did touch on it earlier, but in case you missed that, she's been teaching now for nearly two years. Um, unfortunately, with everything that's happened, it kind of ruined her NQT year, but yeah, she's a great teacher and I love having her working from home because it's just funny listening in on her calls because they're five-year-olds, so it's just hilarious. The first thing I do before I actually start work is I write a list. I do this every day apart from the weekends, sometimes even on the weekends to be honest, but I absolutely love doing this, so I'm going to show you what we're, what we're doing today. So on today's list, we have got to check our email Slack and Notion. We have got to review some footage for a YouTube video. We've got a brief in something for another YouTube concept that I'm working on. I've got a thumbnail to make. I've got to continue a deck for another YouTube concept. I've got a stand up meeting, which basically means when we're in the office, you're stood up around a table. But it's just like a quick daily meeting that summarizes what you're working on. I've got to book Friday off because I fancy going skateboarding and the weather's meant to be nice. Then at lunchtime, we've got to go for a long walk, which we do every single day. And then I'm going to do my Wim Hof breathing, which I've been slacking on, but I absolutely love doing this. It makes me feel great. So I'm going to get that done. So if you're working from home or you just want to be productive and you don't write lists already, then I highly recommend starting it. As you saw on my list, I write things that are small, just like going for a walk, or sometimes I'll even write on here, like have a coffee or make the bed. Um, just because ticking off those little things, as small as they are, gives your brain a little dopamine hit, which is like the reward system that your brain has, which in turn makes you feel accomplished and makes you wanna do more. So the more things you can add to your list and tick off, the more productive you'll be. I'm gonna crack on my work now. I can't show you because it's confidential, but we will catch up with you probably at lunchtime when we are going for a walk and having some food. First thing I do is I will check Teams. So sometimes if um, parents can't open sheets at home, I will just make sure that the sheet's ready. Check for any messages, check my emails, and then I go through and I just write down what the children are going to have to do today because in the live session, I will just talk about what's gonna happen in the day and what I want them to do anything that I'm looking out for. A meeting with 35 year olds is a challenge because they can't sit still and they don't sit still and they're all over the place but I always check that there is an adult there so that they're listening to what I'm saying and then it also gives them the chance to ask any questions. I do not like it! What? Now where am I? Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm hold trying. on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Give it here. What do you think then, geez? Radarine Hoffy, Thrusty Coffee. It's actually alright, to be fair. See? I give that a 6 out of 10. Okay, fair enough. I have my own vlogging camera! You've had that for ages. You just I know. Don't use I have. It. I have had it for ages. It right, but look how small that is. Small and compact. You'll see me doing this. <laughs> see. Although you've lost your charger for it, yeah. so you can't use it. Ellen what? needs to buy a new charger. So for lunch every single day, I have the same thing. I have a bagel with marmite, and I have a pack of hula hoops. I usually have bagels as well, or a wrap. Every single day, it'll be some form of sandwich, wrap, bagel. That's awful. Do you want me to show you how you do it? No. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> okay, I can't talk at all. Can someone tell me why ham smells like farts when you open it? This is my lunch. Very carb heavy, but this is what I enjoy. Normal lunch, you know, but I've just accepted that Ellen's an absolute weirdo because she's having pickled onions. Onion. <laughs> <laughs> She's having pickled onions and marmite on a bagel. No, I'm not what having the onions on, on the bagel. I'm having the onions as a Separate. side. Separate. But that's yeah. still a weird lunch. This was Ellen's tripod from this morning. Don't need that anymore. Right. What are we watching then? This is the constant battle every day of whose YouTube we're going to watch. I wouldn't mind if you actually watched people, but all you watch is skateboarding. That's not all I watch. And all I hear is... 
So the majority of our lunch hour is spent on a walk because the walk we go on takes about 40 minutes, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So we quickly eat our lunch and then we head out for a walk. Now I've got to give a quick shout out to these guys. Well, I don't, I don't have to. These guys sent me this for free. He just said that he wanted us to enjoy some sweets and they're called Woody's Pick Your Mix. He sent us a bag of fizzy ones and a bag of normal ones. As you can see, <laughs> We've devoured them pretty much both. There's some left in here. We've had them two days. These are 500 gram bags. So we've almost had a kilo of sweets it's in so two days. Low. They're very good. What are you gonna do, Fro? Yeah. Oh, that was shit. It's gone down my top. <laughs> it's gone down my top. Actually... Yeah. <laughs> Ellen, <laughs> if that goes in my mouth, that would have gone down my throat. So this walk that we come on is about 7,000 steps, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know what that is in kilometers or miles. I can have a look. On my wow. Phone. It doesn't really matter, does it? We know it's 7,000 steps. We try and hit 10,000 every day. Unfortunately, the weather has taken a bit of a turn now and it's a bit overcast, but- It was raining a minute ago. <laughs> it was raining a second ago, but it's still nice to get out. On the route, we come through this estate, which is near our house. And the houses are incredible, oh. aren't they? All these big houses. Such a nice estate, yeah, isn't it? They make our little two beds maybe like a we'll, little shoe box. Maybe we'll be on here after our house. Oh, I would Who love knows? To be on here. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? We have this game that we play where there's a little ford and it gets flooded and there's a meter that tells you how it, deep oh it is. Oh my, my god. Goodness. What's your guess, Al? What's your six guess? Foot. Six foot. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just under six foot. Did you bring the speedos? Got the speedo? Seven and a half thousand steps. We'll finish off the rest later. I'm halfway through this. I need to speed up a bit. Get another one in. Cheers. What are you doing? <laughs> Al's just come in the room wearing this. Is this come some kind of weird role play thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want me to take photos of yeah, you? Yeah, of Why? me reading for my masked reader. Oh, right, okay. Look at Ellen's wallpaper, it's me and Will, her brother. Look how cute he is. Look how buzzing he looks to be on that roundabout thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just a standard day. It is now quarter to three. I have my next meeting at half past three with my class. So I've just made myself another big jug of coffee. Jug of coffee. <laughs> so yeah, coffee, just finishing the video. I've done my marking and my little chopper bars. Look how cute these are. You won't focus. Because you're big heads in the way. <laughs> Look at that bloody quality, iPhone quality. It's nuts, isn't it? Mm. It's like better than your camera. Alright, don't diss my camera. Just be careful. I wonder if I can do No, I probably can't, can I? Okay, so we finished work now. It is five o'clock and we are going for a little walk. You're so short. We're, go <laughs> We're going for a little walk around the block because I'm on 8,000. Oh, oh every, every time. time. I'm on 8,000 steps. So we're going to get the last of our steps in because we're at the desk all day. It's extremely important to try and get out and just get these walks done. Just because we aren't really up for training at the moment. Our motivation for training has been a bit shit. Although we're probably going to train. I just got dust to the face. <laughs> I probably am going to train later on because filming this video has given me the kick up the ass I needed to train. Let's just appreciate the dynamic range that this iPhone camera has. Meaning, look, it's still got details in the sky as well as me. Usually, right, on the old iPhones, it would have looked something like this. <laughs> but on this uh, iPhone 12 Pro, it's absolutely beautiful. We are back from our walk and Ellen's having her dinner. She has her dinner well early, what's the time? Quarter past five. Every night she will put dinner on at this time and I'm just not hungry. I, I don't... just don't like going to bed with a full stomach. See, I'm the opposite, I eat quite late. The cooking with Ellen clips went down an absolute treat in the last video, but tonight she's not cooking because she hates it. we've got Spaghetti bolognese. This stuff though is incredible. It tastes incredible. It's cheap in Aldi's and the macros are decent. 456 calories, 11 grams of fat. I am gonna do a quick workout because I haven't trained properly for weeks. 
Um, so I'm going to get that done now whilst Elle's having a tea and then I'll have my dinner after. What are we doing later? Me. Yeah, I'll spend the evening with you. So That, boys and girls, is a rarity. It's not a rarity. Are you serious? Yes, I spend you're every... You're normally well. either skateboarding or on COD or on your skate game. Not for the whole night, literally for like half an hour, an hour. Is that what you think? <laughs> Last night I went out. Tomorrow I'm busy, so tonight... We're having a nice chill night. We can do whatever you want. What do you want to do? Well, um, actually, I like getting into bed and watching Yummy Mummies. You do, don't you? <laughs> she f I actually have to watch Yummy Mummies. What has my life come to? You know how much that means I love you loads, that I yeah. will actually sit in bed and watch Yummy Mummies. Well, why wouldn't you? Well... It's good. Maria is crazy! So, after we've eaten our tea, we're gonna do a little bit of house shopping, I think, because there's some bits we want to buy, well, isn't we there? Need to, we need the garden to, stuff. We need to get this garden furniture because it is selling out everywhere. It's selling like hotcakes. There's people on our estate that have started doing like oh their, goodness, their gardens, yeah. putting pergola, is it? There's a, there's a house down there that have started putting up their pergola and it looks really good. So. And there's like, if we walk around our estate and there's just like bags of like chippings and yeah. basically everyone's just ordering their stuff for their garden and if we don't get order in it, so that's what we're doing this weekend is we're actually gonna... Mm, we're doing the first the episode of the garden series this weekend. So I'm gonna do a upper body workout. I'll put it in the description in case anyone wants to follow along, but I am gonna be using the weights that we've got. So we've got 20 kilo dumbbells and we've got a barbell that's about 25 kilos. Ellen sat just there eating her dinner and I'm gonna have the ambience of YouTube in the background. I'm not allowed to wear my headphones because apparently I grunt oh. and breathe really heavy when I wear them. You do. I do, don't I? It must be it's well annoying. annoying. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get this out of the way and then eat dinner. Workout complete. That was good. Little upper body pump. Actually forgot what it was like to lift because like I said, I haven't lifted for two weeks. So nice to actually train again. It's probably hopefully, hopefully now I'll get back into the swing of it. It's just not the one training in your living room. Where are we going now? Um, we're gonna go and get some squash. Okay, because Ellen goes through about three gallons of squash a day. I do. And it's ridiculous. <laughs> But where are we going? Is this just an excuse for you to drive your car? Kind of, because I've had it and it can't drive anywhere. <laughs> Let's go then. Let's go on a road trip to get some squash. Okay. We go. Where, where would you like to go then? We can go all the way into Aldi's if you want. You mean Lidl? Lidl. Okay. It's up to you. All the way to town. Is that a bit of a waste of money? Probably, yeah. Do you want to just go to Aldi's? Not really. I want to go. Well, let's drive it then. Sis, if you want to drive your car, we can drive your car. Okay. Should we just go to Scotland? There's probably an Aldi's in Scotland we can go to. <laughs> That's yeah? a bit extreme. Okay. Please, may you turn the microwave off? Oh! These people have still got their Christmas lights up. End of Feb. They've and still they got them, them up. But they put them on every night. They do. I want a pretty girl. It's banging out the old, old school Drake song. Yep. If you missed the last vlog, then this is Ellen's car. I'm covering the number plate because I can't be bothered to blur it all again. Well done, you <laughs> Jesus Christ. Pimpito Queen. Just spotted this. I'm going for that instead. We're back. My dinner's in the microwave, but I'm hungry. So I'm going to have a pre-dinner snack of these sweet chili rice crackers. These are very good. Does anyone else have like snacks whilst their dinner's cooking or is that just me? Did you enjoy your drive in your car? Yeah. 
Yeah. We were just blasting out the tunes, weren't we? Proper old school Drake. That was good fun. That was good fun. Past your bedtime now, isn't it? I know, I'm going up to bed. <laughs> you actually? Are we going to go on the laptop in bed? Do you want to still look at house stuff? Huh? No, cause I really shouldn't really be doing much like that one before bed because I, I can't sleep then. I didn't sleep until half eleven last what, night. What, you just want to... Half eleven? What? Well, it's only seven o'clock. I know, but this is the problem because we always do stuff before we go to bed and then I'm hyped okay, up. Okay, all right, we'll see how we feel. You're hyped up as if you're jumping around the room. This is my dinner, same as Elle's, bolognese with some peas <laughs> and then we got some cheesy garlic bread too. I'm about to have a shower. Elle's getting ready for bed. Do you want to talk them through? I'm taking off my makeup. Taking off your makeup, okay. What, using this? I use that, yeah. Elemis Cleansing Balm. It's honestly amazing. It just melts your makeup off your face. Literally, all I do is just rub it like this. Mm. And then all I need to do after that, then, is just get my wet flannel and just wipe it off and my makeup is off. And that's it? That's your bedtime routine, is it? That is it. No, that's, I'm joking. That's not it. I'll take you to the next bit. I use my Elemis spray, my Pixie Glow Tonic. I basically just do the same actually as I did this morning. Just give my face a quick wipe. So the Elemis cleansing balm that I use is really good. It's like really moisturising. So I sometimes even use that as a face mask as well as my body shop one that you'd have seen in the last video. And this stuff's really good to use on your spots because it kind of... Not stings, but when you put it on, if you have a spot and you wipe this on top of it, come the morning, the redness of the spot is just gone. But this cream here, which is just the simple light moisturiser, I actually swear by this, I've used it for years. And I use this as like my nighttime moisturiser. I've tried the Charlotte Tilbury um, Magic Night Cream and I just did not get on with it. It made me break out in loads of spots, it was really oily. Like my pillow was all wet, it was just, yeah, wasn't a vibe. So, uh, I've got the best hair serum ever to show you in a second. My hair is growing like there's no tomorrow, honestly. It's, Im it's amazing. So, Elemis spray on. I saw somebody on YouTube using this ordinary hair serum. And she said like her baby hairs were growing, like she had like loads of new hair growing here. My baby hairs, like I just said, are going absolutely wild at the moment just because they're growing so much. You put it on your scalp before you go to sleep and then by the morning it's basically all sunk in and you don't have to wash it out of your hair. These things always remind me of like science, like that. And I basically just put it along that little hairline there and then it like trickles down your scalp, which was very strange. I don't know if you even, you even care about stuff like this. I always feel so strange talking to a camera. I think this is a new PB for us. It's quarter to eight and we're in bed. I think the, the previous PB was 10 to eight. Or was it 10 to seven? Uh, no, we have definitely been in bed at half six before. Have we? That is so sad. Oh well. What else is there to do? We like getting into bed. We don't go to sleep now. We just get into bed and g allow ourselves an hour or two just to unwind and some mornings I get up or we get up at 5am so it's nice to just keep the body clock going so that you can get nice sleep. Bit of sleep is good for you. We are now watching White House Farm on Netflix. We're on episode three. Decent so far. I mean anything yeah. beats yummy mummies so I'm happy that, that, that that's on. Um, yummy mummies is good. I think we're going to end the video where we started it in, <laughs> in bed. bed. So hopefully you've enjoyed that. I feel like that was a good representation of our weekly day, wasn't it? Is, it is, but I, I was saying, like, I don't know if, like, if people will find it boring. I don't know. Do you find it boring? Let us know, because we won't, well... I think it's because we do it day in, day out, so it's just like... Ugh. Yeah, it's boring to us because we do it day in, day out. And to be honest, there's not much else you can do in the week, <laughs> I know. is there? I cannot wait until we are out of lockdown and we can go and do stuff. I know, at least there's light at the end of the tunnel now. I'm just hoping it's not false promises and they don't just use... That's enough blue light to keep us up all God, night. God, there's a blue light on the screen now. Yeah, hopefully it's not false promises and they do actually stick to that date. It just seems a bit mad to me that they can just pluck dates out of thin I know. Do you know what I find weird? As, as much as I'm looking forward to festivals, I just find it weird how they're going to be going ahead in four months' time. I can't imagine. <laughs> it's just crazy. Like, not even just festivals, just any big gatherings. Yeah. Like, it's so alien. Anyway, 
if you have enjoyed this video, if you've made it this far and you haven't hit the thumbs up button, make sure you hit that. If you're new to the channel and you've enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to the channel. We are on the journey to 10,000. We're almost at 8,000. So crazy. join us. And I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Drop a comment and let us know if you enjoyed. What was your favorite part? And finally, follow us on Instagram if you oh, want yeah, to see. Oh, yeah, the home account. Yeah, follow our house account to see what we get up and to. And our private account. Our, daily. Our personal accounts are also on there as well. They are. Thank you for watching, and we will catch you in the next video.